Hello, this is Johan Vermeulen with Mobility Minded and today we're doing a review of the e-readers available on the Apple iPad. Of course, uh, Apple came out with their own iBooks uh, application and of course we have the Amazon Kindle application. So let's go take a look how the iBooks application works. Uh, basically you have your bookshelf and there's one book in there already. So we'll take a look at that. You can go easily, uh, you know, scroll your pages, uh, either you tap it or you slide it. Um, of course you have in two positions, you can also uh, have one page in the page view and have the same option. So it really, really looks nice. Uh, you can go to your bookmarks, easy, table of contents, go bookmarks. Uh, the way you make bookmarks is, actually let's go back to the page, you kind of tap and hold, highlight, dictionary or bookmarks, and you actually have something bookmarked. Okay, let's go back to the library and actually let's go to a store and let's see how this works. Uh, the store is very similar to the uh, to the iTunes store that you kind of used to. Uh, so let's do a search which I already have here, which is Tom Clancy. And kind of like those. And I actually will see how we can make a purchase and actually have a sample review as well. Um, so the Hunt for the Red October, everybody knows that one. You tap on the book itself, it gives you a small little description, customer ratings, customer reviews, two options. You can buy it for $6.99 or get a sample. So if I tap on get sample, uh, it will actually just add to your bookstore right there. So it's downloading it instantly. If you hit buy, uh, you probably have to enter your iTunes accounts, um, which I won't do right now. But the sample, according to what we have seen, uh, let's take a look how far can we go on the samples here. Uh, so it's downloaded instantly. It says 118 pages. Uh, so that will be probably in this format right now. Let's flip it, let's look at the bigger page and let's see what we can do. 68 pages. So uh, let's change the fonts. Um, let's go change that. There we go, we're in a smallest uh, purchase right now. Now you see right in the book here as well, we actually can hit buy on the top as well. Uh, I can go back to the library and yeah, it's actually a bookshelf. We can put in a list or put it in the bookshelf, edit. Let's see, we can delete the books right there, done. So then definitely it's a, it's a great experience. So let's go back to the store one more time. Uh, we're, we're still there. Tapping outside of the screen, it's just like a light screen. You just step outside of it and you go right back to your search results. Uh, we can go to cancel, go back to the main page of the bookstore. Uh, you have the New York Times in there, so you can actually buy uh, New York Times bestsellers. So there's a special list for that. You have the top charts and you have an icon for your purchases, which probably is nothing in there right now. So currently you have nothing to purchase. Um, so let's go back to the library. Let's actually do this and let's buy this one book, uh, which uh, I will do. So let's click on buy. There it goes, $6.99. Buy the book. There you go. It will ask you indeed for your password and then you're all set. So I won't do that right now, but that's the way it works, just like apps. Okay, the second one is the Amazon Kindle Reader. Um, as you can see, um, on my homepage, I have one book right now. And But if I click on showing on the bottom, you have a little button that says right here, start showing, home or archive. If you look at archived items, you will see actually, it will look at all the books that I have previously purchased with the Amazon account through my Kindle or other Kindle applications, the desktop application for Windows, the iPhone application, of course, the Kindle itself. So this is the iPad application, really nice. Once I tap any of these, it will be downloaded to the home screen. So let's take a look at that. I will do the user guide, tap on it. You see it's gone right here. Click on home. And you see the Amazon Kindle is listed right now here. So same thing, tap on the right. You don't have the big scrolling part of it, uh, but you can do this, tap on the screen and you should be able to go back to the home screen. 
other options you can go to your bookmarks cover table contents beginning location enter a location that would be uh, line numbers or page numbers uh, same thing font you can change this to the background to sepia which I kind of like and you can change the brightness here as well and I believe to tell you the truth let me go back to the iBook application let's open up a book here too and I think there's a brightness setting right here as well so experience is easy it's quick it's beautiful um, how would you share books have the same iTunes accounts on multiple devices and as a family you could have one iTunes account share apps share books uh, that's the only way to do it right now uh, so within the family I would trust that uh, outside of the family I would not give your iTunes account uh, password away thanks for watching this was Johan Vermeerlo with a review of the iBook and the Kindle application on the Apple iPad